Hello, welcome to the channel. Got a quick question for you. Are you aware of voiceover recognition settings? Are you visually impaired? This is something that you probably should turn on or at least take a look at it and see if it will work for you. In this video, we're going to take a close look at going in where to find voiceover recognition settings, how to turn them on, and how they impact a visually impaired person's ability to engage with iPhones and iPads. Sound like something you might benefit from or someone you know could? Let's check it out. Here we go. Screen recording. Button. Actions available. Voiceover. Switch button. On. Voiceover speaks. Tap once to select an Double tap to activate the Learn more. Link. Voiceover practice. Speaking rate. Heading. Speaking rate. S speech. Button. Braille. Button. Voiceover recognition. Button. Using on-device intelligence, your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps, images, and text. Voiceover recognition should not be relied upon in circumstances where you could be harmed or injured, in high-risk situations, for navigation, or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. Hello. This is the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel, where we focus on overcoming low vision challenges. My name is Mike, and as we talked about in the intro, today we're going to focus on voiceover recognition. The settings for voiceover recognition are, they're easy to find, they're easy to set up, and it's really pretty easy to use. Sometimes, however, it can be a bit much, but we'll talk about that at another time. Today, we're going to focus on going in, finding these settings, turning them on, showing you what they do, how they work, and how they benefit a person with a visual impairment. Whether you're legally blind like I am, or... Maybe you're just getting a little bit seasoned, we'll say, and uh, that age-related vision issue thing is kind of becoming more of a problem as we become a little bit more experienced, we'll say. Laying all jokes aside, this is an accessibility feature that Apple has included with all the iPhones, iPads out there that uh, you buy, and it's free. Now, the only caveat to that, or one of the caveats to that, is it depends on the device, and it depends on which iPhone operating system that you're running. They um, enabled this voiceover recognition with iOS 14, I believe. So if you're running iOS 14 or later, this will work. If not, go in, I, I ask you to go into Settings, scroll down to General, open General, and I think it's the second item on the list will say like software updates. Check that software update and see what version of iOS you're running. It's pretty important to change and update these things because of all the security risks and you know the improvements that they make, the bugs that they fix and stuff like that. I know everybody's resistant to change and you're kind of like, well, I like the way this one works and I'm afraid it'll change all my settings and it'll mess things up, but Generally speaking, in my experience, it's always been a good thing to make sure you're running the most latest and greatest current version of iOS. So, uh, well, I can show you how to do that. Okay, with the um, settings gone to home page, selected settings, I'm going to scroll down until I find general. And with voiceover turned on, it speaks general. One finger selected it, tap, select it, two finger tap, 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 we'll open it. About button. Then there's the about. About button. Then right below about is software update button. Software update. Again, I select it with one finger tap, two finger tap to open it. Automatic updates on button. And I have automatic updates on. I do have the uh, beta updates off button. I have the beta updates turned off for right now. I turn that on and off just when I feel like seeing what they're working on. You know, like iOS 18 is kind of in the process. It's not been released as beta yet as far as I know. But when those things happen, sorry, I hit the mic. Kind of, I, I get to feel out. So then right here. iOS 17.4.1. I am running iOS 17.4.1. That's the latest and greatest, most current version of iOS at the time and I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro Max and yeah I, I put reminders in the back of my phone because that's where I'm going to find them at anyway 
enough of that. So now let's get into voiceover recognition. Let's get out of here and go to accessibility. General, back button, general, software update, button, settings, back button, settings, check setting, control center, display right, home screen, accessibility, wallpaper, accessibility, button, vision, heading. Again, I scrolled down to accessibility, touched it with one finger tap to select it, double finger tap to open it. Voiceover on button. You can see I've got voiceover turned on. Now, one finger tap selected it, two finger tap will open it. Voiceover switch button on. Now I'm going to scroll down until I find voiceover recognition. Voiceover speaks item tap once to select double tap to learn more. Lip. Voiceover practice speaking rate head speaking rate sixty adjustable. And if this is too fast, you can slow it down a little bit right here. Speaking rate, 50. Speaking rate, heading. Speaking rate, 50. Adjustable. Speech. Button. Braille. Button. Voiceover recognition. Button. Voiceover recognition. And again, to increase or decrease the speaking rate, I just select it with a one finger tap and then I do a swipe down to slow it down and swipe up to speed it up. That's how I did that with voiceover turned on. With voiceover turned off, the gestures are different, as we all know. Just to reminder. So with voiceover recognition. Voiceover recognition button. Using on device intelligence, your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps, images, and text. Voiceover recognition should not be relied upon in circumstances where you could be harmed or injured, in high risk situations, for navigation, or for the diagnosis or treatment of any medical condition. So I just did a three finger swipe up to move to the next topic. Image descriptions off button. Image descriptions. I have that turned off because for me, it gives me a lot of information in the background. And when I'm in a hurry, I just want to scroll through stuff. And then when I come to an image that I want to employ this setting, I can come in and I can turn it on. Image descriptions off. Image descriptions. Switch button off. And right here's where you turn it. Switch button off. Where you turn it on and off. Your iPhone will speak descriptions of images and apps and on the web. Sensitive content output. Heading. Selected. Speak. Play sound. Do nothing. Indicates if an image may contain sensitive content. And sensitive content. I think we all know what sensitive content is. Okay. Additional languages. Button. Now, if you are bilingual or multilingual and you want to be able to have voiceover recognition recognize a different language that may be in a placard or a sign or something like this, so you're out and about and you're traveling and you want to be able to use voiceover recognition to read a sign or a menu or just anything like that, you can go in here and you can select different languages. Enables image descriptions for languages added to the rotor. Requires an additional download. Now, that is as long as you have it added to your rotor. And we covered rotor in a previous video. Apply to apps button. Apply to apps button. And, you know, again, you can select different apps to apply the voiceover recognition and the images and all that kind of stuff to you, which if you start going to web pages and stuff like that, it will... If you use voiceover as a means for navigating the screen and you like all the information you can get, turn this on. It will tell you what this, well, it won't tell you what every button is because that has to do with the way the site is coded. I don't want to get too far off in the weeds, but if you're scanning through a site, say that it's um, a real estate sign or a real estate site. And there's images in there. It will tell you, it will describe to you the best of the AI's ability what that image is of. If it's a picture with a, a house and a fence and shade trees and all that kind of stuff, it will help describe that to you so that you're not holding it right up to your nose, a magnifier, or trying to find a larger screen to put it on. When we're out and about, a lot of times, this is what we have. We don't have our big... 27 inch, you know, 5K retina display on our iMac or something similar. Let's back out here. Voice over recognition. Voice over re image descriptions. Off button. Your iPhone will speak description. Screen recognition. On button. So I have screen recognition turned on. Your iPhone will automatically make apps more accessible by recognizing items on the screen. Cat Y. 
Screen recognition on. Screen recognition. Switch button on. And I will show you this and let VoiceOver read this to you since it does a better job than I can. Your iPhone will automatically improve the accessibility of apps that have no accessibility information, such as identifying the state of buttons or toggles, and by grouping related items together in other apps. Screen recognition can be accessed through the rotor. Make sense? Any questions, please use the comment section down below. Post your question, ask your question. It's a community type thing. We all work together to kind of work through this. And then I might have some tricks that you're not aware of, and you might have some tricks that I'm not aware of. So please speak out. Your iPhone will automatically input your iPhone two to three of three. Apply to apps button. Again, it gives you that option to apply all these different settings to apps. And you can select the apps that you want it to apply and just ignore the ones that you don't. Facebook is terrible. Just saying. Apply to apps button. Voice over recognition. Voice over re screen recognition. You might have a different opinion than I do. If you do, hey, use the comment section down below. Post it. Your iPhone will automatically make apps more accessible by recognizing items on the screen. Voice over. Back button. Voice over. Voice over recognition. Button. Verbosity. Button. Okay, verbosity. We've talked about that before in other videos, but if you want a quick review. Verbosity. Button. Punctuation. Button. It, you can go in here and you can set where it reads punctuation, doesn't read punctuation, and all these other kind of stuff. Speak hints. Switch button. Off. If you want hints turned on, you can turn that on. I prefer to have it off because it's always going in the background and telling you all kinds of stuff that you may or may not want to know. Again, this is one of those where if I get into a situation where I need it, I know where to find it so I can come in here and turn it back on. Then I can go back out and I can go to whatever app or whatever I'm trying to do and let it perform its task and then come back in and turn it back off. It's laborious, but that's what works for me. You might have a different idea. If you do, it's all good. System notifications button. Again, system notifications. Quick nav announcements. Speed button. Flashlight notifications. Off. Capital letters. Speed. Ca deleting text. Click links. Speak and Braille. Actions. Speak and Braille button. And these are all some of the things that are in verbosity. That's where you find these settings at so you can adjust those. You can turn them off. You can turn them on when you need them, or you can turn them on and leave them on. That's entirely up to you. These things can get really busy. They can provide you a lot of information. And if you're the patient sort and you like to just sit there and tap the screen and just listen and make a decision, that's what it's here for. Me, I get to be a little bit impatient. I'm just wanting to go from point A to point B and not really worried about what's in between. You might be different. That's why these settings are in here. You can come in and you can turn each one of them on or each one of them off. Okay. Voice over. Back button. Voice over. Verbosity. Button. Audio. Button. Commands. Button. Rotor. Button. Commands. Button. Rotor. Button. Activities. Button. Rotor. Commands. Audio. Button. Verbosity. Voice over recognition. Button. So this is where your voice over recognition settings are. This is what they do. And you can customize this to fit your individual needs. Any questions? Please use the comment section down below. If you found some benefit out of this, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And uh, you might want to check out the description box below this video. I post some affiliate links there of products that I know that I use that I purchase myself. I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just uh, include some affiliate links in there just in case you're interested in, you know, where to get a good deal on a older iPhone, like a 14 Pro Max. And a lot of people get a lot of success out of using the refurbished, reconditioned, whatever iPhones. And a lot of times they're cheaper on Amazon, then you'll find them any place else. So you can get a good deal, you can get a good piece of hardware, good smart device, and save some money if you're interested. If not, there's some other devices there that I also endorse. Well, I don't really endorse, I just use them and I recommend them because I know they work for me and I hope maybe they'll work for you, solve some of your issues. Any other questions you might have? No? How about you over there? I say you. You get that puzzled look on your face. Please ask me. If you don't ask, I can't try and answer. I don't know everything, but I can search and try and find a good answer for you and share it with you. 
comment section down below. Thanks. I'll catch you in the next video. You might want to check out this one over here, that one over there, or check out, yeah, check the description for some links to some other videos I know you're going to find useful.